For today's project, you are going to need your sketchbook, a pencil, a black marker or crayon, and something to color with, like crayons, markers, or colored pencils. We are going to create artwork based on hearts, just like Peter Max. First, we are going to start with our paper laying sideways with that ring at the top. Then we are going to draw a heart in the middle of our paper. Notice I drew it first with my finger and then with my pencil. Once I have my heart, I'm going to draw a line going up and down on the left side of my page. And then the same thing on the right side of my page. Next, I'm going to add a line across the top, going horizontally across above my heart. And a, lastly, a line across the bottom. So now I have put my heart Kind of in a rectangle in the center of my page. Once I have those lines drawn, then I'm going to grab a black marker or crayon and outline my heart. Next, I'm going to erase any pencil lines that are left behind that I can still see. Now we are going to add the decorations in that frame around the heart. I just did that in Sharpie, but if you want to do that in pencil first and then outline it, you can. I chose to do flowers in the corners. You could do a shape. You could do different things in each corner. Um, I was just trying to come up with different ideas and designs to make the piece look nice. I added polka dots and squiggly lines or um, zigzag lines in the rectangles on the sides of the hearts also. Now I'm going to choose the colors that I want to use for my heart. I'm going to use different colors of red and pink. And when I start coloring, I'm going to color in chunks and not color things in one solid color. Peter Max used paint, but since we don't have paint to use, I'm going to try to make my crayons look as painterly as I can. So I'm going to color in chunks, I'm going to overlap colors, and I'm going to put more than one color in each of my sections. Now when I think about the colors that I want to use around my heart in that rectangle, I want to use something that is going to contrast against my heart. So it's going to look different. It's going to make my heart stand out. Since I used warm colors in my heart, so reds and pinks are warm, I'm going to use cool colors in the area around my heart. I also went back in and added some lines into that space around my heart. And then just like I did in my heart, I decided to color um, a little bit roughly, I guess, so that I wasn't coloring super neat. But then by the end, I had everything colored in because I went back and overlapped um, and I filled in with all of my cool colors to make it look, again, a little bit more painterly, kind of like those Peter Max hearts. Now I get to decide how to color in the rest of my picture. Um, I'm gonna switch again to warm colors for the outside to act as a contrast to the cool colors that I just drew, but you can choose whatever colors you want. I'm going to stick with that kind of painterly coloring, so I'm not scribbling. I'm still going to color in the whole picture, but I want it to look like the colors are mixing. Again, I'm trying to get it to look a little bit more like paint than just coloring with crayons. You can choose whatever colors you want. If you wanna color things in more solid than I did, that's okay too. Once you are finished, make sure and take a picture and upload it to Artsonia so that your art teacher can see it. If you have any questions about what you are supposed to do or about the assignment, make sure and reach out to your art teacher. We are happy to help.